Well, Australia is quite a young team. It's the first time here on the Champions Cup um, playing uh, with a female team. Last year was the first uh, time for a male Australian team in the Champions Cup. It was uh, new, or new from Wales. And uh, this time it's the Perth Raiders. First time for the female team. Some of them are playing in the German League in Hamburg, I think. And the Orcas are a quite uh, experienced team, uh, also with young players. And here we are in the first uh, game of uh, uh, the Orcas and Australia today. And uh, oh, we see the uh, Australians attacking the Colombian basket uh, with a lot of push, but they lose the ball. And uh, no, they can recover it. That's a quite uh, interesting start in this game. I thought the Orcas would dominate from the first second, but that was a, a, a very well played uh, start for Australia. And now uh, Colombia is attacking the Australian basket. We are on the open side, but uh, the player was uh, instantly under attack by the defense, couldn't succeed in uh, pulling. And here we, we have the first goal. Yeah, that was the first goal. I was just checking, uh, Colombia uh, has been participating in the Champions Cup since 2010, mostly Orcas. The last year we had the Castores that came. Uh, so right now we, yeah, sorry, right now we don't have sound from the pool area. Um, if the technicians could please check that. We, we don't hear anything from the referees or the pool area. So back in the game. Um, surprisingly strong Australian team, uh, what we see here, they're wide awake, probably the, it's uh, working in their favor, they feel like it's 7 a.m., 7 p.m. in the evening, and, uh, but uh, the Orcas are uh, attacking heavily, but there is one, only one Orca yeah. player going in, that's not but enough. The, the goalie of the Australian has the shoulder a lot. Yeah, it's a shoulder in the basket, we can see here. And here, from the open side, an attack again. But uh, surprisingly, the Orcas are uh, attacking one uh, with one player, and they don't establish their uh, uh, attack pattern, which we seen yesterday with the triangle in front of the the basket of the Australians. Now again, another attack from one Orca player coming in from the open side, tackled away by the Australians, losing the mask, I think. I haven't seen it, and uh, very well defending here from the Australians, and uh, now. Orcas try to come from above to the goalkeeper. It's also not uh, working. And now from the uh, open side, but they lose the ball. Ball is dropping down. And Austria, Australia is in attacking mode, trying to swim through the half of uh, uh, Colombia, being under attack by the four checkers. And let's see, yeah, the four checkers uh, succeed in snatching away the ball from Aust uh, Australia. And uh, they go in, uh, our Orcas are already in attacking mode again, trying to attack from above. The goalkeeper didn't work out, although there was one player wa waiting at the open side. And uh, this is an interesting game. Uh, right now I see, don't see any weaknesses in the Australian game. And I thought that uh, Orcas would be the superior players, and probably they are, but you can't see it right now. Um, interesting and uh, exciting game here. The Orcas are not, not uh, really awake yet, even though they uh, succeed in keeping Australia away from the basket. They uh, have difficulties in, in building their attack pattern to put pressure on the Australian basket. And Australia is doing heavy forechecking, keeping the Orcas away. But here we are, Orcas are coming in. Now we have three players coming in on the basket. One waiting on the open side, one attacking from, uh, from uh, the front. And here it is, first, the second goal um, of the Orcas. But they have, the, like I say, um, in, in from my point of view, they have surprisingly uh, uh, big difficulties um, doing their game against Australia, and Australia is doing a very good job. Um, yes, defending. I mean defending, uh, and in even the going right. into the <laughs> attack. The, the start of the game was, uh, uh, was a surprise from my point of view, and a really good game for Australia. And you see it here, the, the, the game in the middle of the pool, 
Uh, it's not that easy for the orcas, even they are the strongest swimmers, I think. It's not that easy for, for the orcas to, uh, to, to establish dominance. Yeah, they cannot. I mean, yesterday we saw another uh, tactic from orcas. They're trying to play a triangle, uh, having one play in the middle and passing the ball right or left. But uh, it's not being used here. I mean, we saw it against uh, Barcelona and it really... Um, was uh, suc uh, success for them, but today it looks like uh, the Australians are putting up a stronger fight and it's making it more difficult to uh, follow that strategy and maybe they're, they're a bit more uh, in swimming around and trying to um, yeah, make the uh, provoke a, um, a mistake uh, by just moving the ball around the, the goal. And uh, the do, do you see the difference of the tactic? Yeah, I mean yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, clear. Yeah, it's it's definitely really different. Uh, we have two orcas uh, under the goalie of the Australian, and I mean, the, 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 the Australians are really defending uh, very, very good, I and mean they're holding up. The now we have an empty for a second. We had an empty basket, but the ball wasn't free in the orca game, and they couldn't uh, use that chance. So uh, this is this is interesting defending by Australia and uh, Colombia has a really hard time um, going into the basket of the Australian team and the Orcas are the team with, m with much more experience here we have uh, Claudia and Lilo uh, in the team of the Orcas and they are very experienced and here we go it's a 3-0 but nevertheless uh, a very very good job um, of Australia here what we see that's that doesn't look like a team that is uh, uh, let's say s two or three years old um, that looks like an experienced team they are playing quite good so timeout I guess yeah from could be Orcas yeah and Federico the coach of uh, the Orcas is uh, telling them now uh, probably he's not confident in their game he's uh, really uh, uh, really uh, he Fede is really demanding as a coach and uh, probably he does not like what he's seeing here because uh, the Orcas should be more dominant um, control the situation more than they do right now in this game even they are leading with the 3-0 um, it's not the game we uh, expect from one of the top teams. Even though they, they are the better team here in the water with the experience they have. But uh, congratulations to Australia. Yeah, sorry. I was good for a little bit. Um, bueno, estamos viendo que las chicas de Orca son el equipo favorito, son uh, un poco más fuertes, pero no están haciendo la táctica que tenían eh, ayer, que podían jugar contra Barcelona. Eh, están un poquito más limitadas por la defensa de las chicas australianas, que realmente eh, están haciendo un, un buen partido, a pesar de que no tienen la experiencia y la trayectoria de las chicas de Orca. Quizás es que... Es es tan temprano por la mañana también, o sea, están, están, están con jet lag, todos los equipos han llegado eh, esta semana y la diferencia de horario realmente puede ser, eh, o sea, un detrimento al rendimiento físico, ¿no? Y este deporte con el tema de que uno no puede estar respirando es todavía más exigente y um, se nota más las diferencias. ¿No? I was, um, I was saying that uh, both teams are in a jet lag, so we, we, we are not seeing maybe that uh, the Orcas are being able to play the way they were playing yesterday, uh, but both teams have jet lag. I mean, that's really how it can be. Um, but uh, then it's fair. Then both teams have no jet no lag. Know, that's know, a fair, know, fair point. <laughs> I know. And, and it, well, the Australian has having the worst by. Uh, oh, oh, she. The Orca girl is trying to push the ball uh, with the goalie of the Australian and into the basket. Into the basket. That was. Uh, I think Federico told them they have to be more aggressive on the basket, and that's another goal. So we don't have. We don't have sound, sound from the pool area. I will tell our technicians. Can you take over, Lorena? I try. I try Thank to you. Do my best. Um. So we have 4-0 uh, 
uh, the last attack of orcas and those of his SXS. But uh, the Australians are putting up a fight and uh, trying to uh, do now uh, an attack uh, toward the Colombian basket, but it has been called by one of the Orca players. Now we have uh, the recovering of the ball by the white team, by the uh, Colombian, and uh, the coming towards the Australian goal. It is alone that it was a little bit in front of the basket and uh, got uh, the ball back. But uh, Orcas don't, you know, don't, don't give really a chance and. Uh, they stroll the ball a lot. I mean, they play very open. This is not common for us in Europe. We really hold on to the ball and uh, try to be even more safe the way we play the ball. But all this moving around is eventually also successful, although right now that should have been a goal. I mean, since uh, a few uh <laughs> seconds. And uh, the Australians recover and are now trying to swim away. But look at that three against one, two against one, and they don't have a chance to go farther than four or five meters uh, that the Gorkas recover the ball and continue playing. Um, el marcador va 4 a 0, y mm, las chicas de Orcas están atacando constantemente el arco de, de las chicas de Australia, y, eh, pero las australianas la verdad que están defendiendo bastante bien, o sea, las chicas de Orca juegan con el balón a, a, abierto y mueven mucho el, 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 o sea, no, no, no lo, no lo llevan seguro como lo hacemos nosotros aquí en Europa y es, es sorprendente porque tuvo la portería vacía un par de veces y no pudieron, ahí como que faltó un poquito de definición por parte de Orca, creo que Federico les va a dar un tironcito de orejas, tendrían que haber metido por lo menos uno o dos goles más, pero bueno, no es una cuestión de que si van a ganar o no, esto es claro, Orcas es el preferido y es el equipo más fuerte, pero eh, se están perdiendo unas buenas posibilidades de hacer goles y eso a Federico no le gusta. No, I'm saying that Federico might not be really happy about it because, of course, Orca is a stronger team and they're playing better, but they miss at least three, four times yep. of their scoring. I think, and, yep. and Federico will be, you know, telling yeah. a few I things. Was, I was already <laughs> telling, he's really, uh, he's, uh, he's a tough uh, a coach and uh, he will not be happy what he sees here in the water from the Orcas, even though they, they, they it's their game and, and they're winning, uh, it's not what they are able to put in the water. Um, so... Uh, they will have a, a tough talk after this game with Federico, the girls from uh, Colombia and Australia is doing a very good job. Uh, they uh, really earned their feathers here in this. Feathers? Yeah, you say that, you earned the feathers. But you cannot swim with feathers. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I, have, uh, I have now this, uh, uh, this, um, uh, no. Let, don't let no, let's talk in this this direction, feathers. <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Where's Federico? Is he there or is? Um um, I saw him. He, I think he's in the water. He was uh, when they had the timeout. He was uh, talking to the girls. No, no, it's not him. So uh, the Orcas are uh, one of the top teams, together with Akaren and Langen here at the Champions Cup, and. Uh, it's surprising how uh, they have uh, they struggle here to to uh, to control the whole game. So we have back sound from the pool area. Thank you very much uh, to okay. Bene. And now we hear the referee Everything again. Okay. Okay. I think uh, the Orcas uh, have to being more structured. It looks their attacks are one on one and that's not enough against a well defended uh, Austra Australian basket. So they have to play with system. Let's see if they change after this break. Uh, it's a nice start throwing the ball up to the surface but that was a bad pass. Uh, the Orca player lost the ball and it's now in possession of Australia even though the Australian player is under heavy attack from uh, the Colombians. Um, but it's difficult for uh, the Orcas to break through the uh, defense, forechecking, 
of the Australian team. And they are now uh, working their way into the basket area of Australia. And one player tried to attack from uh, front. And they are now establishing their triangle attacking pattern. But it's not that uh, well executed. You have an another one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, attack, or uh, one player from the Orcas attacks uh, the, the defense. And that's not enough. The Australians are too strong to let that happen. And another attack from the close side, fend it off. And another attack, and the ball is loose. It's, it's uh, surprisingly difficult, and it's not uh, disrespecting the Australian uh, play game, but I thought it's easier for the uh, Orcas to score here, and it isn't. And that's a compliment to Australia, who are doing very well, defend a job here, and they're keeping their basket safe. I'm trying to see the Perth Riders play ra yesterday. Let me see the girls. Mm. Against Barcelona and lost 1-0. And we have uh, an attack, uh, two against one. Yeah, but the shoulder, this is, well... It would have been a penalty. The shoulder was like. But probably he did. Uh, no, no, I advantage. know, I know, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Th that's if, uh, if they wouldn't succeed, you yeah. think? Yeah. yeah there's. A th I've seen that a lot from the Australian goal. Is they tend to uh, just go with the shoulder inside the basket. Um, I don't know. It's just that they're inexperienced, or sometimes you know women that are quite skinny, and even if you don't want to, you when you are moving you around, slip then into you're slipping. In yeah, yeah, yeah. And it with all the movement you have on the basket, it's really easy to go into the sh within the, the shoulder. So uh, we have a, a close quarter fight with a little cluster in the middle of the pool, and uh, it and then that attack from the Orcas. Uh, two players, but it, it's the, the 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 finishing does not seem to be. Uh, yes, yeah, missing a little bit. It's missing the last. Um yeah, and we saw two players going in like the attack before on the uh, goalkeeper who was alone, and they they couldn't do their game around the basket because they were not well coordinated with each other. That's which which is a surprise here in the game of the Orcas. And it's another goal, and uh, yes, they scored. It's a 6-0 now for uh, the Orcas, but nevertheless, um, against a heavier team uh, like Langen or a more experienced team like Akaren, it will be difficult for the Orcas if they play the way they play here in this game uh, against Australia. And Australia does a very good job. Say zero. Oh God. <laughs> I'm not having a voice anymore, and it's already just at 9 o'clock in the morning. Eh, estamos viendo las chicas de Orca, están teniendo un poquito de dificultades para definir los goles. Eh, ayer contra Barcelona tuvieron un juego más claro, un poco más dinámico, eh, y sin embargo las chicas australianas están, eh, se las están complicando para definir. O sea, Orca es el, es el equipo más dominante, que tienen control de la pelota, saben lo que están haciendo. Eh, son muy buenas eh, recuperando el balón en el medio de la cancha, pero le está faltando un poquito de definición y estamos un poco sorprendidos porque pensamos que contra Australia eh, iba a ser un poco como contra Barcelona, que eh, por ahí no iban a tener tanta resistencia. Ayer cuando jugaron, estoy viendo cuánto ganaron contra Barcelona, 9 a 0. Y bueno... Time out. Cero, pero I think yeah. I heard uh, it's a blue timeout. So we have uh, <laughs> one minute and the teams assemble to Ahí talk tactics. <laughs> I would like but to talk to, yeah. to Federico afterwards, but I don't think he's happy. What do you think? Well, no, I don't think so. Um, they, they can do a better game than what they are doing. They, they're, I'm surprised they're having so much trouble to define the, the goal because they, they're very experienced and they, they, they look for the chances and they look Last 15. and they, they force the mistake is on the other team and then the basket is empty and then they don't score <laughs> or they, yeah. uh, they, they have so much more experience than the Australian players. It's really, um, 
surprising. It's, it's like I mean, it's really early in the morning here. It's right now. It's let's say nine twenty. They have the jet lag, so it's three o'clock for them. So maybe that again, that can be an issue. You yeah. lose concentration. In Australia, it's it's seven uh, o'clock uh, in, in the, the evening, evening, so exactly. it's it's their so time zone. They're exactly, playing now. Exactly. This is the time for Colombia to be sleeping and. They are a little bit. <laughs> so, and, and this is terrible for, for sporters. I mean, this is a, a big, um, how, how you call it, a big um, negative influence. Of it, uh, it's a uh, big issue here, the time lag. It's a big issue, like exactly. And uh, we, the, shouldn't the teams we shouldn't, you know, uh, we, we should give the, the importance it has. It's not just a, a minor thing uh, having a jet lag and it's such a time difference. So. It's a good thing they're playing against Australia and not maybe stronger, maybe against the Germans. No, lo que estoy diciendo, chicos, es que no tenemos que. Miren, ahí les está cayendo la pelota y están como distraídas. O sea, no, no se olviden, son las 3 de la mañana. Para los chicos de Orca, si bien llegaron entre el lunes y el martes, siguen siendo las 3 de la mañana. Esa es hora de dormir. El cuerpo está, o sea, no está preparado, se pierde la concentración. Esto realmente son. Eh, la, la diferencia de horario tiene una una influencia muy negativa en el rendimiento físico y no hay que eh, cómo se dice faltan las palabras en español eh, no hay que quitar la importancia y si bien para Australia es la noche o sea digamos que es un horario un poquito más conveniente para eso para estar jugando que a las 3 de la mañana o sea que eh, Daniel cómo te ayudo cuando juegue masculino orcas tú dime tú te ayudo como pueda <risa> Um, great respect to the Australian players. Um, they are uh, one of the upcoming uh, nations in underwater rugby. And uh, Vinne has been um, in Australia documenting a tournament. And uh, we see a lot happening there in Australia, yes. initialized by a Turkish player. And uh, we see a lot of growth in underwater rugby, even though they have the normal problems establishing a new sport and now there's a counter-attack on the uh, Australian basket but the player it took for the second wave a little bit too long to come in so the player had to get up with a with a ah, ball and was and was attacked uh, by Australia they lost the ball and recovered the ball and now Colombia is in the attack again putting pressure on the basket of Australia, but uh, Australia is holding very good against the avalanche of the Colombian players. And again, the Colombian attack is not what we uh, think we should see here from uh, one of the top teams. And uh, here, a one on one situation, the basket is empty. And again, 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 we see these little seconds, these small movements that normally in one of the top teams shouldn't be an effort but it is and it takes them a little bit too long to score that was the right. the fifth Don't the fourth attack number nine have it yeah okay so number nine from uh, colombians oh. hold on stop the stop jenny the time. wait Well, eh, aparentemente Orcas debería estar jugando el masculino a las cuatro y media de la tarde. Pero los primeros del grupo D, como son los primeros del grupo D, a las cuatro y media de la tarde de hoy. Hora colombiana. Ahí no te puedo ayudar. <laughs> Creo que son... I think one of the lines uh, of the exchange area uh, got loose. By s but one of the lines of the exchange yeah, area got loose yeah. uh, on the side of uh, the Australian uh, okay, ready? team. So we had a little uh, delay. And here we are back in the game. It's a 7 0, and that's a. Uh, uh, unquestionable uh, win for the Orca team but uh, it's not effortless and it's not the fluently uh, play we we used to yeah. see by the Orcas and uh, let's say it's due to the jet lag and uh, well that's my theory yeah for them it's three o'clock in the morning uh, or four o'clock in the morning now like Matthias uh, told us in the live chat 
and uh, well uh, even we have one of the we have a really heavy attack from Australia on the uh, Colombian basket and one of the Australians try to steal away the basket from the Australians uh, from the Colombians um, counter-attack that, that took too long for the rest yes, of the Colombians yes that's what I yeah exactly that's what I told before it's a, it's these seconds that uh, that that you miss um, the chance if you're not synced together as a team um, and you miss these little seconds that decide if you can score or not and that I don't see that happening right here in the game yeah they, they they could do more the game against Barcelona. Maybe Barcelona was also playing uh, uh, maybe not as strong as Australia. Now they're counter-attacking. And, oh, but <laughs> they... they <laughs> those passes, I mean... Th through the ball. We, yeah, we just swim and put the ball inside and hold it until we hear the... <laughs> yeah. But, but then you miss some scores. I mean, this is also, you know, th this kind of thing when the goalie is coming uh, almost. But they have been throwing the ball like this many times and most of the time didn't go in. But now from under the goal. Four, even from three, the back. two, one seconds left. White goal. And game over. Number 15, goal. La numero 15 de la chica de Orcas es Margarita. And el game is goal. over. I was seven or eight? Uh, seven, I think. So congratulations to Australia and congratulations to uh, Colombia too. Um, well, my, my view on this game we just saw is uh, it should have been a warm-up game for Colombia because they will face uh, their... Uh, their biggest challenges Latest with uh, with yeah. Langen and Akaren. Yeah, and they are first of the group. They won both uh, games against Barcelona and against the Perth Riders, so 